Everybody's just in a complete shock at this moment in time that Dan Lanning said no to this Alabama job. Anything and everything could happen. And I've had a couple Alabama players reach out to me on Twitter stating that the entire college football world is going to be shot when they hear this announcement. Yeah, that definitely caught my attention. And who knows? This could be false or it could be true. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we don't have time for our intro, none of that. This is an emergency video, and there's been a crazy turn of events. Early this morning, I posted a video at 7.30 a.m. to be exact that Alabama has found their new head coach. And in that video, I stated, according to all my sources, is being reported that Alabama is going to hire Dan Lanning. And by now, I'm sure many of you have heard the breaking news that Dan Lanning will not be taking the Alabama job. He has turned it down. So yes, my sources were wrong in that video, but to be frank with all of you, I think everybody thought Dan Lanning was going to take the job. And I don't even blame my sources because 98, 99% of the time, and I guess that percentage is lower because they were wrong on this, they're right on things. It was just one of those things and scenarios where my sources were wrong and hey, it is what it is. That's what happens when you're reporting on big time news like this. It can change within a blink of an eye, just like that with a snap of a finger. And it sucks because I hate reporting on stuff that doesn't happen, but like I said, we've just had a crazy change and a crazy turn of events. Dan Lanning wound up posting a long message on Twitter today. It was a video and I'm not even too sure if I'm going to show it to you guys because it really doesn't matter too much. Just imagine I popped up a minute long video of Dan Lanning. It was a hype video pretty much stating that, hey, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. The grass isn't greener on the other side. That's what he stated in the video. I'm staying in Eugene, Oregon. And much respect to him. I'm wishing Dan Lanning the best of luck. And when I heard the news that Dan Lanning will not be taking the Alabama job and he's going to be turning down the Alabama job, yeah, I was shocked and I'm still shocked. I even stated in the video, I thought it was all but a done deal. And yet again, I'm going to go back to this. Why did I state that? Because that's what my sources told me. This is how this went down for Alabama. Alabama immediately, they turned to Kirby Smart. Obviously, you give Kirby Smart a call, you know he's not going to take it. Then you call Steve Sarkeesian and you also know more than likely he's not going to take it. Well, then your next guy up was the guy we just talked about, Dan Lanning, and most people thought... He probably would take the job, but he didn't. It is what it is. There's not much more to be said about this. Dan Lanning said no. And I think some Alabama fans might be offended by that, but I don't see why you would be. Because you got to remember, the Alabama job isn't very, I guess you'd say, what's the word I'm looking for here? It isn't very attractive to many head coaches. Just due to the fact you're going to be held to the gold standard and the highest of highest standards. Even with Nick Saban gone, you can't change these Alabama fans' opinions. And I know this because I am an Alabama fan. They are going to expect to win championships. It's championship or bust. Alabama fans have been accustomed to championship or bust mentality for the past 15 years. You're not going to change your mind in one or two seasons. It's not going to happen. Maybe in 10 years, if Alabama goes on a drought to not winning championships, they'll change your standard. But I can tell you this much. For the next couple of years, no, the standard is going to remain the same. And guess what? These other head coaches out here, they're not dumb. They get it, and they understand it completely. Why would you, as Dan Lanning, want to go to Alabama where if you go 11-1, and one, it is still a disappointment of a season if you don't win a championship. Whereas you could stay at Oregon and go 10-2, and 11-1, and, and that fan base is going to praise you. I think Dan Lanning to Alabama, that would have been a great hire, would have been a great fit, but logically it makes a ton of sense to stay at Oregon. I'll put it to you like this, and we got to get a move on here. It's not shocking that Lanning decided to stay at Oregon. Not shocking whatsoever. The shocking part is, and I hope this makes sense, is that you turn down the best job in all of college football. The Alabama job. More times than not, you're only going to have one shot and one opportunity of coaching the greatest college football program of all time. We just talked about it. I know there's a ton of pressure that comes with that, but that's what you want in this life. Pressure's a privilege. When you got pressure on you, that means people are counting on you or you're counting on yourself. And I got to remind some of y'all, this is not the Alabama job before Nick Saban got there. No, no, no. Before Saban got there, let me remind some of y'all, this was a terrible job. But guess what? Fast forward in time into our current date, 2024, January 2021, to be more specific here. This is one of the greatest jobs in the country. You've got all the resources you're going to need, and Nick Saban has made this evidently clear. He's still going to be involved with the program, and he's going to help out as much as he can. He's just not going to be calling the shots. This may be understating it, but this is a gold mine to a new head coach. You're going to the greatest college football program of all time. You're going to have Nick Saban at your hip. He's going to be available 24-7 to help you out. And oh yeah, can't forget to mention and throw in there, you got four and five star recruits all on the roster. It doesn't get too much better than this, okay? It simply doesn't. And it's also being stated at this point in time that the new leading candidate to land the job is no other than Kalen DeBoer. And I'm going to let you know right now, as far as it goes for me and all the sources I talk to on a regular and daily basis, especially with this big time news going on, 
We don't know what's going to happen. Everybody's just in a complete shock at this moment in time that Dan Lanning said no to this Alabama job. I wish I had some news to tell y'all, but I know nothing. I am out of the loop at this point. So whenever we hear the new news, it's going to be a shock to me as well. And that is weird because normally I somewhat know what's going to happen, but here, no, I'm left in the dark. There is nothing off the table at this point. Absolutely nothing. Anything and everything could happen. And I've had a couple Alabama players reach out to me on Twitter stating that the entire college football world is going to be shot when they hear this announcement. And this is also worth throwing in there. According to a source, there will be a meeting today amongst the players and coaches likely informing the team of the decision. Take that for what you want, but I want to show y'all this message I got today on Instagram. I thought it was interesting. Very interesting. This was at 10.53 a.m. and I'm going to block this person's name out because I'm not too sure if they want to be thrown in here or whatnot. They stated, I'm a manager at Enterprise at the airport. UA just called and asked for a large SUV for the new head football coach. Yeah, that definitely caught my attention and who knows, this could be false or it could be true. And I haven't even asked any questions or reply to this. You don't know if Alabama could be calling for an SUV for today, tomorrow, whenever. You don't know. And also, you don't know if this could be false. This isn't one of my credible sources. I have no idea, but I didn't want to share it with y'all. I need to also throw this in there. Another name that is trending all across social media is no other than Mike Norvell, Florida State's head coach, the Cinnamon Rolls. That one is somewhat confusing to me because, remember, Nick Saban, he is going to be heavily involved in who Alabama hires next, and he's more likely going to have a big say-so in who Alabama hires. And I don't think Nick Saban, at least from my knowledge, is too fond of Mike Norvell. And when I say too fond of, I'm not saying he dislikes him. I'm just saying there's not a relationship there. You got to get this sense and vibe and feel like that Saban's going to pick somebody that he's had a relationship with. But a lot of people are throwing that name out there. To me, a name to pay attention to is no other than Kalen DeBoer. It is definitely worth mentioning and throwing in there, and here's something for your train of thought. DeBoer, potentially Alabama's new head coach, he has the same agent as Nick Saban, and he just recently switched over to him. Granted, Jimmy Sexton, the agent that represents DeBoer and Saban, he, when I say he, I'm referring to Sexton here, he represents a ton of college football head coaches all across the country. But just something for your train of thought and something to think about, and I'm curious, let me know in the comment section, who do you think it's going to be? Because I have no idea. I'm just here to report on the news that it is not Dan Lanning anymore. We'll see what happens. Me personally, I've told y'all in last night's video as well, I like Lane Kiffin. Do I think Lane Kiffin's going to get the job? No, because I don't think the boosters are back it. And outside of Kiffin, I don't have too many personal favorites. I don't know a lot about DeBoer. I know he did good at Washington this year, but yet again, I'm going back to this. Does Saban really like him? Who knows? And for those of you that think Saban's not going to have a part in this and have a say-so in it, you've lost your mind. He will. And it's not to say that I'm not going to believe in DeBoer. Whoever Alabama gets, I'm fully backing him 100%. I'm just out of the loop, man. I'm confused, and I don't know what to think. Another name I've seen thrown around is Dabo Sweeney, but that one's been thrown around the past couple of years. Dabo Sweeney's a dinosaur. I don't think Alabama's going to go after him. No way. There's a lot going on. I'm going to keep you guys up to date. Let me know your thoughts on all this down below. But, Robert!